Are you struggling to keep up with the demands of your growing private cloud infrastructure? With VMware Cloud Foundation, you can rapidly scale your infrastructure by deploying additional workload domains, each consisting of vCenter, ESXi, and NSX. But what happens if you've updated your management domain with an async patch? Prior to VCF 5.2, this meant an additional update was needed so that your new workload domain component versions matched. But that's all changed with VCF 5.2. Now, new workload domains are deployed with the exact same versions as your management domain, async patches and all. This means you can scale your infrastructure faster and with less manual effort, so you can focus on what matters most, delivering value to your business. I'm Eric Gray from VCF Technical Marketing, and in this video I'll show you how to deploy a new workload domain with an async patch version of NSX in a single, streamlined step. The Release Versions section is a handy way to see the bill of materials for each VCF release, which can help you track changes and updates to the various components. For example, if we look at VCF 5.1, we can see that the BOM version of NSX is 4121. However, in this VCF management domain, the NSX component has been async patched to 4124. As we discussed in a previous video, there are two types of software bundles, update bundles and install bundles. In order to deploy a new workload domain, it's essential to download the correct install bundle for NSX4124. When deploying a new workload domain, the first step is to select the host storage type. Next, you'll be guided through the process of providing information such as the cluster name, VLCM image version, and FQDN of the new vCenter server instance that will be deployed. This workflow also includes specifying the vSAN cluster type, the number of hosts, to include in the new cluster, and the virtual distributed switch settings. You'll also need to configure licensing for the new workload domain. Once you've completed these steps and the configuration is validated, VCF will automatically deploy and configure the new workload domain. After the new workload domain is active, you'll gain access to additional resources such as CPU memory and storage capacity, which can be used to support new applications. You'll also be able to see the overall utilization of these resources, giving you a clear picture of how your infrastructure is being used. To confirm that the new workload domain has the intended async patch applied, navigate to the current versions section and look for the NSX version number. Want to learn more about VCF 5.2 and how it can help you scale faster and more efficiently? Check out our blog for in-depth guides, tutorials, and expert insights and start achieving your business goals today.